Hey guys, how you doing? VT Maestro here. Part 2 of the 18650 lithium solar power generator build. Working on the battery and using the Verizon kit that I purchased for about $30. Here's a closer look at some of the Verizon caps that go on the positive and negative ends of the batteries. Alright guys, I can tell you that the uh, battery caps go together pretty well. I end up using a finish hammer to tap the tops of each of the cells into place individually and this worked better than trying to assemble them all at once when I did that I actually cracked a couple of the tops so using a small hammer and tapping them into place uh, seemed to be the best approach to putting these together after assembling each string I ended up testing each of the cells to make sure that uh, the top and bottom of the batteries were making contact and uh, everything was in order I ended up checking the battery pack several times to make sure every cell was making proper contact. It was key to always rotate the pack to the left so I could go down each string and check each cell. So as you can see I've connected the entire pack using the bars in serial and parallel. So I'm making both the connections and my last string here is just positive on that side. On the other side it's going to be negative. I did run into one issue after I assembled one side. It was the center blue was stripped, the actual pin. So I ended up taking everything apart and replacing that one cap. So I think I was very lucky here because the problem was on the end. I was able to pop off that cap and then replace it with a new one and then just go ahead and redo my parallel and serial connections. So I've gone ahead and put everything back together as far as the serial and parallel connections. I've also added XD60 connectors for my charging and discharge wires. And I attached the BMS to the battery pack, put a little foam behind it, and then I used two layers of hot glue to attach everything. Next I need to go ahead and attach my balance wires which are the red wires that will attach to each cell group on the positive side. There is also one black wire that goes to the first cell group which is negative. Alright so let's take one more look at the battery pack here. I've gone ahead and applied some Kapton tape just to hold down the wires and to also add a layer of insulation between the parallel and serial connections so if anything strikes those connections they won't spark because there's tape there. You can see the XT60 connectors up close. Next step here is to wrap the battery in some foam just to give a little more protection from vibrations when I put it in its case. was also going to shrink wrap the battery pack but I uh, found out the hard way that uh, my shrink wrap wasn't quite big enough. It was wide enough, it just wasn't high enough and uh, as you can see I'm going through the process here. At the very end the shrink wrap doesn't fit. So at some point I will pull this battery out and most likely shrink wrap it. It just takes some time. It takes like three weeks from China to get the shrink wrap and then with those XT60 connectors it's real easy to disconnect this battery pack and then shrink wrap it and put it back in the uh, upcoming solar power generator here. So just a couple things here to finish up the video here. I did take some measurements and readings of the voltage for the battery and it's showing 28.8 volts and if you remember from my readings previously the batteries each cell was showing about 4.1 volts so 4.1 times 7 comes out to be 28.8 volts. So that's perfect as far as voltage reading for this battery. And lastly, I measured the weight of the battery. It's coming out just to be over 5.5 pounds. So that's perfect for a lithium-ion battery for a small micro solar generator. 12 amp hour, 25.9 volt nominal, 5.5 pound battery. So be sure to check out the next video here. I'm going to go ahead and build the generator off camera. This might take a couple weeks to do, but I'll be sure to uh, do one more video and show you what I did and components and all assembled and do some tests and future videos on using this new generator. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, ask some questions here. As always, thank you very much, and we'll catch you next time.